Okay, so I'm with Basti. Basti, you've been a JFGA student since you were about eight years old, am I right? Yep. So you've been here a good kind of seven years. In your last year of the Junior Aces program, you're going to progress up to the Elite Aces next year. Yep. Just, just give a, an overview of your time on the Junior Aces program for us. Uh, I think it's a great program to um, combine your academics with your golf, as you only have about four classes a day, which are about an hour long, and then you have four hours of golf. So it's a real good um, combination of things, and it's not academics it's over golf. It's just it's just perfect with both with the amount of hours being played. Mm -hmm. and, so, it's, uh, so it's great. Obviously, you're, you're combining both the academics and the golf. There's no compromise yeah. between either one. Yeah. It's about you know it's getting the great academics you, that you can at the school, but then obviously not letting that affect your, yeah. your golfing ability and, and get as far I mean, as you can. School isn't getting in the way of any golf at this academy and neither is the golf getting away in school however most people have the problem that they don't have enough time for golf so because their school is taking up too much of their time and they need to study for this here you can just mix it up perfectly mm -hmm. and there's no real issue of oh i can't play golf because of my school yeah perfect cool all right let's go get your ball and uh, let's hit your next shot So Bass, if you just um, explain for the guys watching, what's kind of your typical day? How does it kind of pan out? Well, I wake up, we start school around nine o'clock, then we have about four hours of school. And school is mostly lots of subjects, there's no real specific subjects. Then um, we'd have SAT class, as that's many people judge what school you go to in the States. From. Mm -hmm. How, how good your SAT score is yeah. and most schools don't provide that so you could be doing really well in your academics but you don't have a high SAT so what's the real point mm -hmm. and then later on we have one hour of gym followed by three hours of golf so obviously as we know nowadays gym is very important for golf you don't see many people that aren't strong and stuff so yeah that's a typical day Cool. And then when it actually gets stuck into your golf program, what are the kind of things you're working on? What's your typical golfing week for you? Well, many of us write down on a Sunday what we want to work on so they can have a bit of specific time of us and what we want to do. But mostly we go through everything. They've always got something new planned. It's never really short game putting and long swing. It's always more detailed and always something new that we have to get better at. Cool. Awesome. All right, where'd your ball finish? Just over the back or on it? Just off the back, see if you can get up and down. Good shot, I think we'll give you that one. Thank awesome. You. Thanks, Bass. That was uh, very insightful in a student's perspective yeah, of the Junior Aces program. So yeah, we wish you the best of luck on the Elite Aces program next year. Thank you very much. Good. Last three. Last two. Last one. Step in. Dylan, can we have a quick chat? Got Dylan Verdi Oakley here. We're on the Junior Aces program. How are you doing? I'm oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, just get a few words with you. Um, you've been at the academy now for a couple of years. Can yeah. you just talk talk us through talk us through how it's been? So it's, it's been really good. Uh, I like the mix between the school and the tennis because the school doesn't mind if you come out of school. They're happy with it. They kind of got like a relationship with the academy. Yeah. Which makes life a lot better. And then I like. 
I like having a few hours of school and a few hours of tennis. I like getting both done every day. And you're, I believe that you're a pretty good student. Uh, all right. Don't be, don't be so humble. I know that you're, you're a good student and a very good tennis player. How, how are you going to combine those, those two over the next few years, do you think? Uh, probably by leaving school a bit early sometimes to do some more tennis. So I can get a good balance between both, between both of them. And what's it aiming towards? What's your goal? What would you like to achieve? I'd like to become a professional tennis player. Great. As well as having a degree or going to uni, university. <laughs> Any idea where you'd like to go to university? Uh, I'd like to be somewhere in America, but I'm not sure yet. Right, so maybe on a, on a scholarship. And, and who's helping you with that? Uh, the Sotheby Tennis Academy. Um, school, or my parents. Uh, so they're, they're, all, they're all working together yeah. to, for you to be able to... So do you feel clear about where your future lies? Mostly, yeah. Yeah? And what's your favourite subject? Uh, school. Maths. Yeah, so what, how would that transform after, after, after your tennis career? Uh, how would that be to count all of your earnings yeah. that you've made? Yeah, always count all the money. Yeah, maybe get you working for Sotheby Tennis one day as yeah. well. <clears throat> and any, what would you say are the best things from the, from the programme? Uh, I'm not sure, but I like the fact that the school are quite, they, they're connected, which makes it a lot better, so you don't have to keep telling the school saying, he has to leave now, things like that. They, yeah. They're fine when they want to leave to play a bit more tennis. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the number one thing. Yeah. What about working with Rona? I like working with Rona, it's fun. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to show us a serve as well? Alright. Come on, show us, show, us, show us what you serve, like. let's have a look.